Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The Cyclone. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc just misses with the jab there Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Back to the left hand now. Unable. 
able to connect. I mean, look at the commitment to kick this fight. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, perfect head kick there. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. And he landed the right hand there. All right, we have now reached the final minute of round one. Try to establish that jab. Seconds to go now. 20 seconds left. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Oh, collar tie. Round two straight ahead. Level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected, we saw this on the match sheet, that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Unable to connect there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice punch here. Nice body. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little squeeze with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Looking to land the right just out of range. Yeah. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. 
went for the inside leg kick. Nice strike. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big power shot there. Final seconds here of round two. Round three next. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Take a deep breath for him. All right, get him some water. Drink, slip. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. It was so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Good well, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right hand upstairs! That's a big strike right there. Slips. Unable to connect with a right hook. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Lands flush with the left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice loose of punch. some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. 
Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, that's a good one. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, nice jab. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Just out of range with that right hand. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Circling towards the left now. Big head kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice straight punch. Nice job by him to get the need of the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. It's not over, it's not over. Keep One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Right hand punch from the clinch. Superman punch. Ooh, big shot lands. As he presses forward with the combination there. Not there. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Dig and kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, huge block! Beautiful body. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow. Can't take many of those. You better check. Trying to kick the leg out. Head kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Let's go, take down. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds to go. He blocks the punch. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish. But sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that fight to the best of your ability.